Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive using a free tool called Hasleo Backup Suite. So this software does more than just cloning, which I'll show you here once we open it up. So right when you open it, you might see this message. You, you haven't set the default storage folder for backup image files. You don't have to do this, of course. All right, so you could do backups, uh, restores, system backups. Do an image file, disk partition backups, file backups. Here's your restore, and then here's your clone options. And then here are your other tools, make an emergency disk, wipe your drive, uh, rebuild the MBR, master boot record, merging images, portable Windows creator, and so on. All right, so we're gonna go to the clone section here. So you have system clone, disk clone, and partition clone. So you could do just one partition if you want to clone that, if you want to clone the entire disk, so make a copy of it, or if you want to do the system clone, which is going to be your Windows drive, and therefore make it bootable, you want this option here. All right, so before we get started, let's go to disk management. Okay, so I have this 70 gig drive here with Windows on it. Then I have this 100 gig drive, which is unallocated, so it's just put in here. Uh, not configured in Windows at all, so you don't need to worry about doing that. Okay, so let's go to System Clone. Okay, so it automatically found the 70 gig drive here. And here are the partitions on it. So we're going to click on Next. Select the location you want to clone to. So here's the disk one with the 100 gigs. So you could clone as MBR if it's GPT, convert it to MBR. Uh, keep the partition layout if you want just to make sure that the partitions are exactly the same, but it shouldn't matter. And then there's an advanced mode, which in this case doesn't seem to do much, but if you go to their website, it tells you what advanced mode will do. If you use it, clone a disk to a contiguous space on the destination disk and keep other selected partitions that exist on the destination disk, but that doesn't apply to this scenario because I'm just using one blank disk. And then here are the other options, clone MBR or clone as GPT sector by sector, key partition layout, and so on. Okay, let's go back to normal mode. I'm just going to leave everything unchecked. Select the disk, click on next. So it gives us our summary here. You could change your disk alignment. I think they recommend the one megabyte settings here. All right, so we're going to click on proceed. And you have some options for what happens when it's complete. Do nothing, shut down, reboot, sleep, and hibernate. So we're going to leave do nothing. All right, so we'll pause the video and then be back when this is finished. Okay, so that's complete. It only took about three minutes to do so. So we'll click on finish. I'll we'll close it out. Let's go back into disk management. Okay, so here's our original 70 gig. Here is our new 100 gig. And you can see it has 30 gigs unallocated. But you can see here, if you try to extend this volume here to use it, you can't do it because this is in the way and you can't just move these around. So what I'll do is I will put a link in the description for a video that we have on some other software that will allow you to move your partitions around. So therefore you can move this over here and then have these two partitions be contiguous and that way you can actually extend it. All right, so let me shut down the computer. I'm gonna remove the 70 gig drive and see if we could boot with the 100 gig drive. Okay, let's log in and see what we got. Okay, so we're back in Windows. So, uh, of course, on your end, you might have to do some configuration in the BIOS or UEFI to change your boot order to make sure it's recognized properly. All right, so let's go back to disk management. Okay, so there's our 100 gig disk and the 70 gig disk is gone. Okay, so you can see it still shows up at 70 gigs because we weren't able to use the space here and we still can't extend it. So if you plan on using a larger drive, you might run into this problem, but using this other software, it's super easy to fix. All right, so I'll put a link in the description for the Hasleo backup suite, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.